I'd like to share AM landscape in South Korea. Uh, recently, Korea Ministry of Science, NICT, and NIPA, National IT Industry Promotion Agency, they shared the result of a Korea 3D printing industry survey. So I found this, this will be interesting to share with you guys. Some facts uh, regarding Korea AM market size. Uh, 2020 Korea market size was $350 million. Uh, this is 2.7% of the global market. And within APEC, Korea market share was 10 to 12%. And about the growth, uh, unlike the previous years and due to COVID, um, Korea actually has a decrease of a minus 70% which is quite surprising because if you look at the 2017 until 2019, the average growth for last three years was plus 16.8%. Uh, 16, 16 so COVID uh, badly hit for Korea AM market, but it, it clearly shows that it's uh, positively recovering for this year. If you look at per industry, um, the highest proportion is a government domain. Surprisingly, it's a 30, almost 30%. This is again on, uh, different from global trend. Uh, it is because Korea government uh, take the lead uh, in activating additive manufacturing in Korea. And they make a huge investment since 2014. Uh, there, therefore, the government domain has a, a lot of investment on the machines and material and software, et cetera. And followed by government, there is automotive and medical and dental machinery um, market also quite active. But as I mentioned that Korean government has a strong uh, drive for additive manufacturing and they set up a few regional centers. As you can see, uh, in Seoul, Gyeonggi area, we have a Kitech and they have a 3D printing manufacturing innovation support center and each region has uh, their uh, target market so this uh, area kitek uh, focus market is a mall and in the middle daejeon area they have a techno park uh, they also have a uh, they set up 3d printing manufacturing innovation support center and they focus more ict and Daegu area they have uh, institute of advanced convergence technology where they focus on the medical and they recently finalized and set up am medical public production center and at ulsan area also they have a 3d printing convergence technology center and their focus is automotive and shipbuilding and all goal all of these is a goal is the same this goal is to support and small and medium company and educate the market And there's actually more in Techno Park and Creative uh, Economy Innovation Centers and Maker Centers. There are many uh, government centers. Um, although um, the Korea is actually late cover for 3D printing because uh, their active investment is only from 2014. Uh, but there is um, uh, the related uh, equipment and material they has been uh, invested and then this technology, technology has been secured quite well uh, through this, cost, this uh, government support. But, uh, however, there's no successful case for commercialization and therefore, since then, there's, there is a vicious circle and, and there's an investment does not continue and there's no so specialists are gathered. So, uh, government take action. So, they transform of uh, industry promotion strategy from before supply oriented and into demand oriented. If you look at um, the AM per purpose in Korea, compared to global trend, 48% are finer parts. But in Korea 2020, 2020 uh, only 15% are finer parts. So since 2018, uh, Korean government um, focused more uh, making a high value added applications and um, in the specific industry like aerospace and automotive and medical and defense energy. And there are actually a few cases has been done. Um, first one was a power plant uh, together with the central government MOTI and five power plants in Korea, together with the Capco KPS and the government center Kitech and external service bureau partners lab. They um, try to find a meaningful application for maintenance components in the power plant industry. And then after all the design for AM and the, all the 
all the, the printing and they actually did real tests in the pla in plants. And actually the, the result was very positive and they are still, it's a, they are an ongoing project and for, uh, because they already see the good impact on it. And on medical side, I mentioned about Daegu City, also with the central government and then Daegu City together with the Gyeongbok University. Uh, they set up a co-manufacturing center for medical devices. So uh, quite a lot of uh, local medical device company already get benefit from those facility and then they can make a, a business out of it. And third one is the Ulsan City and together materialized mindware team. Uh, we did co-creation for automotive industry and these uh, Zigan fixtures um, application was uh, provide a huge impact um, in Hyundai Automotive with the, the, the vendors, related vendors. So now you can really see that in Korea, GK fixtures application using 3D printing in automotive, it is really boosting here. Uh, but I talk about a lot of thing, a lot of thing about the government, but there's also commercial sector. Um, still also commercial sector, they uh, mainly use for prototyping and R&D. Uh, still slow, but final parts, uh, final parts cases are increasing. Uh, Tucson Heavy Industry, uh, 2019, they successfully uh, make a um, gas turbine part for power generation. And also this year, to, uh, this year they also successfully commercialized some uh, AM parts for defense market. And automotive market, including Hyundai Automotive and Jig Fixtures markets, our applications are expanding. And medical and dental device company also is expanding. And also a company called Brism, uh, they are the first uh, 3D printing in, in Korea, I'm talking. And in Brism, uh, they are the, the first 3D printing eyewear company, and they're already expanding a three franchise now. And Fit Korea, they are already um, helping and supporting athletes and, and the people who has a uh, uh, pain on their feet and they are really helping. Also, uh, HSI Tech uh, in architecture, they use a 3D printed joint and then this architecture industry, there are some nice uh, uh, final parts applications has, has been happening. And moving forward, um, actually, uh, just recently, uh, Mr. Songwon Lee, uh, ICT police officer of the Ministry of Science and ICT, he, he said 3D printing technology is a key engine for preoccupying the next generation parts and machine market through convergence with the manufacturing industry and enhancing the competitiveness of domestic companies. We will actively support you so that we can grow into leading manufacturing companies. Uh, with that, uh, recently, Korean government uh, shared the investment plan on AM, and they will invest 85 million US dollars for coming years. And main goal is uh, finding Korean style uh, success story. Also, commercial sector. It is this year uh, with the post-COVID and post-industry 4.0. I can already see that the scaling up is happening for final part application like a jig fixtures or medical and dental and spare part in Korea. Mm, last week there, I mean, last week there is a Hanover Messe and Korea uh, government and Korea, um, some centers, they arrange Hanover Messe symposium. And then it's quite clear that government and local companies and they believe in um, they believe in that 3D technology, 3D printing technology accelerate the digital transformation in the manufacturing industry. So uh, in Korea, more companies will be realized digital transformation by digital manufacturing. So with that, um, Korea historically strong in the manufacturing, and then together with the Korean spirit and continuous support from Korean government, I, I strongly believe that the Korean additive manufacturing market the futures are bright. So I'll end my presentation with this. Thank you. Well, it definitely seems like there's a lot of activities going on there. So thank you, Emma, for sharing and paving the way. Considering strong government pressure for AM, I don't see much work in defense or aerospace, which is generally where a lot of growth is in globally. Is there any work in defense or aerospace in Korea that you can share? Yes. So definitely there are a lot of things happening in the aerospace and, uh, and defense as well. We have a North Korea and South Korea situation, so we always uh, invest quite a lot of money on defense. And actually, with the government support, there has been together with the Kitech, they has been uh, developed uh, the 3D printed uh, spear parts successfully, and has been already tested uh, in in the real 
equipment. Uh, so it has been proven. But those informations are quite critical and they don't always show in the internet. But it's really happening on the defense. And also from this year, government announced that they are going to make a huge investment on, uh, on uh, making actual final parts application in defense market. So it is really happening. Yeah. And for aerospace, yes. So in, for example, uh, with the uh, CARI, this is a uh, Korea Aerospace uh, Insti Institute. They, but it's still in the aerospace, it's unlike like a Boeing or Airbus, it's still, uh, it's more focused on the, the space or more in the defense like a jet. So uh, in actual aviation side, it's still limited, but some companies are definitely working on um, the finding lightweight applications. So that's actually also happening. But again, this is quite uh, uh, confidential that the, I know it's happening, but I cannot just uh, bring the names, but indeed it is really happening, defense and aerospace in Korea. Thank you for keeping it confidential, but that makes us um, think of all the mystery that's happening behind the scenes that we're excited about. Another interesting roadmap was announced in 2015 on smart manufacturing R&D mid to long-term roadmap. What are some of the innovations in AM that has resulted as the result of this emphasis on R&D? Indeed. <laughs> so it's actually smart manufacturing, digital manufacturing, digital transformation. This was a really big words, especially Korea is very strong in manufacturing and that they really want to uh, keep it strong because we are, as I mentioned, Korea is a late comer for 3D printing. So we really, uh, the Korea government and also manufacturing, they know that we need to do uh, better and uh, harder. So now uh, the government actually also support a lot on the digital manufacturing and smart manufacturing and then there has been a lot of uh, investment has been done for digital manufacturing with the crm and mes uh, but uh, at the same time they realize that it is uh, in the successful cases are quite limited there are some side effects as well so with the smart manufacturing since 2015, uh, like uh, it's quite similar trend as I mentioned before. So there has been try on and there's uh, they found out there's a pro and cons. And then this year they make a more um, uh, better plan, more transform, more meaningful uh, um, way. So this is still ongoing and, and there are lessons learned happen with the smart manufacturing. But as I said, with the digital transformation, which is extremely important for Korea and smart manufacturing will be the, one of the key that the government is investing 85 million very soon that's fantastic yes. <laughs> one, one a.m for yes. a.m yes. one last question you mentioned spare parts what is materialized yes. strategy or government support if any to accelerate the adoption of a.m for spare parts first of all government side uh, government they didn't specify spare part but uh if as you can see uh those high value applications like power plants uh spare parts or uh, defense uh, spare parts. They 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 realize that those are expensive and difficult to get it, and it's old. So this is application is as a consider from government size high value application. So government will support on such application. And from materialize, uh, we uh, with the materialized mindware team, as we did with Usan uh, with the uh, with automotive company, we. We work together, we co-create together with the company and then we listen what uh, problem they would like to solve and uh, what's their vision. And then is it, is, if this is supply uh, spare parts, and then we can make a AM, map, a AM strategy for them, uh, their supply chain. We can find uh, uh, the application and then we can really make a strategy for that together. That's what we do. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Emma, for sharing what's happening in Korea. It's super exciting to see the growth uh, that's there. So we look forward to supporting you through the APAC and meetup. If you're interested in the about materials in general, they will have on the first floor the Korea table. And if you're interested in connecting with Materialize in Malaysia, you'll be on the second floor of the Remo platform.